My name is Ben Jackson. I'm an MBA one, and I'm here to tell you about the Botswana, South Africa, and Zambia trip. We began our trip in Johannesburg at the carnivore restaurant where we feasted on zebra, crocodile, and other exotic meats. Uh, we met Jill Marcus, the chair of the ABSA group and a member of the ANC, former finance minister, and uh, had a great lunch at Sasol where we met their CFO, Christine Ramon. Um, and after that, we got to tour the big stadium that they're building for the World Cup in 2010. We met up with some alumni that evening for a memorable dinner at Le Cotla. My name is Kavita Kurana, and I'm an MBA one. The real highlight of the trip for many of us was a visit to Clip Town, a community in Soweto. We didn't know what to expect getting out of the bus, walking along dirt roads and into tiny houses made of corrugated metal. But the students at Clipton Youth Program welcomed us with open arms. They put on a dance show just for us, and we had a great time interacting with the kids and with the adults who ran the program. Our tour guide, Talani, who's from Clipton, said, do not pity us, for we are rich in spirit. And they certainly were. I was amazed at how friendly and welcoming everybody was. This is not a sad place. There's joy all around. That experience was perhaps the most emotional and enriching one for all of us. Later that day, we visited the Apartheid Museum and the Hector Peterson Memorial, which gave us a chilling reminder of South Africa's recent past. We had dinner with 10 students from African Leadership Academy, who are basically the rising stars of the continent. We had a great time talking to these students and hearing their stories, and we'll definitely keep in touch with them. So to get to Botswana, we had to charter a plane. Uh, so it was pretty cool to have the whole flight to ourselves. Our first stop was at De Beers, Botswana, where we met their CEO. Mohai, uh, who welcomed us into his home and spoke at length about the opportunities and challenges present in the country and in the region. It was a real treat to meet him. And later in the trip, we visited the Bank of Botswana, got up close and personal with hippos, and a family of elephants spraying each other. Just being with one another on that cruise and enjoying that peacefulness of the water brought us a lot closer together. The next day, we got up early for another safari. This one on land. We saw impalas, cape buffaloes, elephants, lions, giraffes, and yes, we even got to see some dung beetles too. A couple days in Zambia brought our trip to a memorable close. By then we had gotten to know each other pretty well and uh, so we took the opportunity to relax and just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the nature and the wildlife in the region, uh, of which there was quite a bit right around the hotel area. Uh, we got to take a cruise down the Zambezi River uh, and unwind a little bit. And we also managed to do a fair bit of singing, uh, even though it wasn't strictly speaking on the itinerary. As a matter of fact, all the music you hear, uh, it's not us, but it's music that we recorded at various points throughout the trip because there's just so much going on uh, in the area. The Victoria Falls was the last thing we saw, and it was just breathtaking in, in its power and majesty. I guess the only fitting end to a trip like this is to visit a wonder of the world. I loved Africa. I, I think we all did, and um, I'll definitely be back soon. Yeah.